Hi, welcome to Drive With Care. This is number 11 in my series of Folkestone Drive Test Routes. Um, if you're finding these interesting and you've only seen one or two, check out this playlist because these are all the ones I've done so far. So it's an interesting one. It's just going around to Cheriton up the um, M20 round, A20 round hill tunnels and down back down through Sugarloaf into town a couple of stop signs by the way the stop sign someone commented on my last drive test route that i didn't actually stop at a stop sign now i'm a seasoned driver i've been doing it for years and if i stop for a millisecond that counts to me as a stop even though it looked like i was rolling forward but fair dues you did pick up on it um and what i would say is do as i say don't do as I do. I will make sure that I stop and give it at least five seconds before I pull off because that's what is expected, isn't it? You should come to a complete stop. Not because it's not a give way. On a give way, I would approach, I'd be looking, I'd say, oh yeah, there's nothing coming, and I'd carry on. But on a stop, and it's usually because there's obstructions you can't see properly. Anyway, let's get on with it. Test route 11. Let's follow the instructions on the um, voiceover. See how we get on. At the junction, turn right. At the junction, turn left. At the junction, turn right. Go across the crossroads. Give way. They're tricky ones, these, because they're quite wide roads. And with all the vehicles parked on both sides, you sometimes just you have to be careful pulling out. The crossroads, turn right. This route should only take about 26 minutes, but I guess it's all dependent on traffic conditions. the junction, turn left. Another give way. Car coming. Nothing to the left. Always check for your left because you might say, I'm looking to the right, it's all clear, and you pull out, but there's actually an obstruction on the left. The car that just passed has suddenly stopped, that kind of thing. The traffic lights bear right. Let's keep 
clearing the road so I'm not going to block it up. It's only for someone's drive, but you don't want to be stepping on a keep clear on your test, do you? At the traffic lights, turn left. Take the next right. Doors opening, car pulling out. Come on. Take the second right. suburbia where we will find kind of a single carriage cars parked on both sides What would you have done if you were on your test? Would you have slipped into the left-hand parking area to let the car forward? Again, I say I've been driving for years, so it was, to me it was simple, just let the guy come. But I have the confidence for that. But I would suspect that you would carry on, slip into the left, let the car pass, and then pull out. At the junction, turn left. Nice hazards, though. And I think what I'm saying in terms of what the other commentator commentator commenter said to me about not stopping is that you know I'm doing these drive test routes if I actually do miss something take the next left and you pick up on it then good news for you because you've actually been more observant especially if you're about to take your test <laughs> it's good stuff take the third right They've got the um, speed humps, but it's really quite convenient because there's cars parked on both sides. They should have just had one in the middle. What do you think?
I am trying where I can to, you know, remove the squeak because I can overlay audio section that hasn't got squeak. The car is booked for the 10th of July to have the strut repaired. Yay! At the junction, turn right. The traffic lights turn left. At the roundabout, take the second exit. So I'm in this lane because the first left goes off. Well, that's the slip road that goes off. The first left goes off to the M20, but the second one goes up over the bridge. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Exit of the dual carriageway. I wasn't doing 50 I might get a minor you know a minor point because I wasn't speeding the car up to the correct speed limit but it's 
an advisable speed limit. It's not a target, you know? And the car in front of me is actually doing 38. <laughs> and I can't overtake him, so what am I to do? I can't reach 50. But now we're getting into a 30 zone, and you must be doing 30 when you hit the 30 zone. At the roundabout, take the second exit. So second exit is technically straight across. So we indicate off the roundabout, but not while we're going on it. Taxi driver indicate. No, of course not. What do you expect? What that tells me is that I want to keep my distance from a driver like that. <laughs> I know I make my mistakes, but um, I'm all already thinking, you know, is that the kind of driver that's just not aware of their surroundings? that caused me an accident. The traffic lights, bear left. stop at a zebra crossing when you're third or fourth car along because the hazard is already there and the cars in front are aware of it but if you're the first car then keep your eyes peeled for pedestrians crossing at the roundabout take the first exit taxi driver's indicating now that's good news Switch that indicator off so people don't think I'm turning left there. Take the next left. At the junction, turn left. 
it is a left hand turn anyway but I am indicating because I like to let people know what I'm doing but I'm not sure if you need to consult your driving school ask them you're approaching a junction that is only one way do you indicate I'll just get into the habit take the next right system so that could I was wondering if there was oncoming vehicles because of the truck parked on the corner but it's one way go across the crossroads so because we're going straight across there's no left turn anyway so I technically only have to look to the left because it's on, on my street but I'll always look to the left and I can see pedestrians crossing so I'll let them cross before I make my move. Go across the crossroads. Go across the crossroads. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Oh. My vision was obstructed by the Mercedes, so I didn't see the other car coming. So I saw the brake lights go on, but I wasn't sure if they were just slowing down from approaching the bend, you know? At the junction, turn left. Be hanging out. I like to do that kind of thing. Right, so one-way system, I am indicating, because I like to do it. Motorcycle, car, nothing coming. Still checking my left, to make sure nothing's stopped before I pull right out. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Did indicate off though. That's why indicators are important because I need to know what that car's doing when it's on the roundabout. Because I could be sat there thinking, is it coming round? Is it not coming round? And then it drives off the other exit, and I'm like, oh, if only it indicated, I could have pulled off. <laughs> came all the way around you see. Take the next right. Back to the test centre. Take the next right. Take the next left. It's clear to enter. Let's just stop here because this is convenient. There you go, driving test route 11. Quite a few things caught me out there, um, apart from the squeak, <laughs> which will be fixed soon. Um, when I was crossing those last sections of crossroads and I nearly just went for it, but there were some pedestrians crossing. So because I was so busy looking left and right, and left and right, I wasn't looking ahead. So keep looking ahead as well. And then I entered into the other junction the Mercedes had pulled round and I wasn't anticipating it stopping and it didn't leave me enough room I think the back end of my car was kind 
kind of hanging out on the junction there. Anyway, drop me a comment. Let me know anything that I actually missed or didn't do right, if that makes sense. Because that shows that you, if you're watching this because you've got a test looming, are aware of all the, the hazards and the observations and all the things you've got to do. But we all love driving, so if you're watching this because you want to pass your test, <laughs> don't watch it because I'm just showing you how to do it, I'm just giving you the route. Um, then, you know, well done, and I hope you pass. That's it for now. I'll catch you in another video. Bye for now. Drive with care.